All right, so here I have a, uh, we're working on the banner now. Here and here, these are both separate Quadro images that I've loaded on my screen, always on top, so that I have access to them no matter what. They're always on the top of my screen. This is Stacy Dash. I know I'd previously considered Halle Berry and Jada Pinkett Smith, but I do, I do prefer Stacy's look better. And this is just a crop cropped image of the 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 banner or the header. So basically this is my safe zone or my safe area where I'm going to focus the 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 bulk of the character like her face would be in there and I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible. This is 600 DPI. I don't know, that might be overkill. I've almost always worked at 300, but I am gonna do this at uh, 600, see how it goes. I've done 600 before. I'm just trying to figure out how to compress it so that it looks smooth. Seems to be a little bit uh, aliased or jagged a little bit. I don't know, something with the, with the way I'm making it web friendly is I'm not really happy with. So as I mentioned before, you can use the middle mouse or you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, the middle mouse button to drag within here, left mouse will drag the entire thing. You can resize down here or up here or basically in any corner. So um, I guess yeah, I guess I'll use this one right here. So I'm basically, again, I'm, I'm keeping the focus in this area and that would be in here. I've basically just started a new layer and I'm going to come over here to this sketcher brush, ensure that I'm using black. Right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger or actually grab the brush. Okay, a little bit smaller. So I'm not sure if the location and placement and size is gonna actually work. It may take a little bit of trial and error and resizing for it to look uh, the way I want, but let's say, wow, that's not even the right brush. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, so just gonna start sketching it out. As a rough guide, these photos are a rough guide. I'm not trying to make it look like her. I'm not trying to make people look at this artwork and be like, you know, that looks like uh, so-and-so for any character. No, I'm just doing this so that I have some kind of reference, some kind of uh, consistency from, again, panel to panel, uh, and so that every character, every character's facial features don't look exactly the same. They may, uh, you know, they may very well look similar, but at the very least, I am putting in some kind of protection to help limit um, you know, to help limit every character basically looking like the same person with different hair. You know, that's, that's obviously um, something to be on the lookout for. And so, you know, you see that all the time in different comics. It's like certain artists, it's, they just have one way of drawing a, a face. Uh, and then they'll just make, you know, maybe they'll make someone give more, someone more wrinkles to look old. They'll give, uh, they'll make them fatter or bald. Or if in the case of a woman, they'll give them different um, hairstyles. And it's like, yeah, you know, that's totally fine. I understand that. But if you can do this, like get some casting involved and 
put in a little bit of extra work to have a plan so that everybody doesn't look exactly the same, then that's, I think that's, you know, I think that's going to benefit you. So hopefully you guys aren't too disappointed that I'm using uh, someone that I didn't even bring up in the initial casting video. Um, but yeah, just for me, I think this is going to work better. Now she doesn't have, she doesn't have the same pedigree or catalog of movies that Halle Berry does. I mean, Halle's been in so many movies. It's really easy to find reference for her. Um, you know, the James Bond movie, Swordfish, which Swordfish, I think, is an awesome movie. I really, really like that movie. I didn't particularly love... I don't know. I, I don't know. I did really like it. It's probably one of my favorite movies, which is kind of funny because maybe some people haven't heard of it. Hugh Jackman, John Travolta, and Halle Berry. Um, it's kind of like a cyber tech sort of... I don't know. It's got a really... It's got one of the best... Um, opening monologues I think ever it's it's really really great so here's basically her her face and you know the character has uh, has these pigtails um, so yeah, I mean, I think this is going to work really well. I think she's going to be a good um, reference for my character. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect. I'm not, I'm not doing a, a carnival um, caricature. I'm not, you know, trying to make this look photo real or capture exactly the, li the likeness. Again, this is just to... Um, this is just to basically keep the the character relatively consistent from panel to panel, page to page, and like I said, doing my best to limit different characters looking exactly like other characters. So whether I'm really focusing on it or not, it's just a matter of I am I'm having reference in front of me and you know without reference I'm sure the characters would look almost exactly the same as others so uh, you know but this is something that you can definitely try if you I oh mean her teeth are way too big so So let's see. So let's zoom out, kind of compare it to what I would see here. Um, I don't know. I think it might be a little bit too big. And I don't know how much of her body I want to show. The YouTube studio shows like previews of what it would look like on a PC or on a on a on a phone. So I guess once I put this on there, I'm gonna check it on my phone and uh, obviously on the computer. So let's go rotate this horizontally. Oh yeah. So um that's just something that's that's you know, I recommend doing as much as possible because as soon as I flip it, like look how, look how awful it looks. And this is pretty easy. You can just flip horizontally and, you know, check it from the other angle. So this is obviously terrible. So we're going to have to kind of uh, clean it up from this side. Uh, wow. It's amazing once you flip it, like how bad it looks. But you clean it up from the other side and 
Uh, you flip it again, and then you flip it again, and every time you flip it, it's going to be um, it's going to be a little bit better. And then oh, that's weird, but it's going to keep looking a little bit better. And before you know it, you flip it, and it's like, okay, yeah, it looks good from both sides. So let's kind of clean it up over here because it obviously is not looking how I want it to look. I'm just erasing. Wow. So this is a little bit of a challenge, not a big deal. I mean, in the scheme of things, you know, it's like just flip it, spend a few minutes um, cleaning it up. And, you know, and I can probably do a lot of this stuff with with the coloring. So, like already, I think it's looking better, although it looks a little bit freaky. So... So let's shorten that. She doesn't have the Joker's mouth. This is not Harley Quinn. Although, you know, it could be could be a Harley Quinn kind of a character. I mean, she's not. I'm just saying this picture could be. So then there's also this issue here where this is not at all uh, consistent. Try to make it look a little bit more even, equal. Bring that in here. Uh, that's, uh, you know, I think that's looking, that's looking a bit better. Clean it up just a little bit more on the outside. And of course, in real life, I mean, it's not going to be like a mirror image. People's left and right sides don't match like that. But yeah, flipping it is a really, a really good thing to do uh, in general. I don't actually do it as much as I should. And I'm glad I'm recording this so that it can make my work better because if I, you know, maybe if I wasn't recording this, I wouldn't have flipped it. And I would, and you saw how bad it looked from the other side. So uh, this definitely improved the overall image. So go ahead and put those highlights in there. See how it looks again. Just kind of compare it. But yeah, I mean, I think this, I think that looks pretty good. I know there's a shortcut. Uh, there, I believe there's a shortcut. And then we can do that. So now we're not really done because we still need to, you know, kind of clean it up from the other side. I hit the uh, undo button. Sorry. I meant to zoom in. This is a Cintiq, so I have some hotkeys like Alt, Shift, uh, Zoom In, Zoom Out, Undo, and uh, Spacebar, so I can scroll with the hand. Uh, just, you know, whatever makes things easier for you. Uh, this is a 13 HD, so it's a bit of an, on the older and smaller side, but, you know, you pretty much get used to whatever you have and I like it. it it works really well it's also e you know I can also put it in my I can also put it in my um, backpack and take it around with me so it's very portable which is awesome all right had a little bit of a, a break there unintentional but in any case I'm kind of done with the whole sketching process so I'm gonna leave it here uh, I guess I would flip her back so it matches a little bit more. And it's not it's not perfect. Um, I'd like to actually give her more of an expression like she's stupid. So she may be looking up and to the right with kind of a blank face. 
Um, that would be ideal, but uh, I'm not sure if or when I will find that reference. I may play around with that later, but I'm probably just going to put this up on a banner in this general kind of a happy smiling expression. So, um, and I'll look for something different for Anne Hathaway. And this is mostly just, uh, it's kind of a temporary thing. It's kind of just put something up there. It's incremental improvements, so it's not going to look super perfect right away, but I do want to get something up. And as long as I'm moving forward, I feel like I'm making progress. So this is not the expression I'd like to keep in the end, but this is, uh, this is the way I would have sketched it out, and uh, I'll leave that for here. So hopefully the horizontal flipping was, if you know, if you learn nothing else, hopefully that was something cool that you may want to try in your own artwork. And hopefully I will be trying it or, or using it more in the process of creating this comic. So, all right, and that's kind of about it. I mean, you could pretty much noodle with this forever until it's even more than okay. But yeah, I feel like her neck was a little bit off, a little bit off center, which of course doesn't matter. But yeah, as an artist, I'm always trying to make this the best I can. That includes tips, tricks, and a lot of practice. So. There we go. This is the sketch that I will eventually ink, color, record those processes, and put them up on YouTube as well. But this is the sketch one. I'm just going to make this into its own chapter since it's, I believe it's nearing 20 minutes. And that'll do it. So again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're so inclined. I do appreciate it, especially as a new creator slash new YouTuber. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And if you have comments, I super, super welcome comments. They help me know what you guys think about these. Also, let me know if you like Stacy Stacey Dash as the choice of actor reference for Stupid Girl. Do you, Are you disappointed that it's not Halle Berry or Jada Pinkett Smith? Do you think this is fine? Does it matter? All right, signing out. I'll catch you next time.